everybody, welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I have an interesting video for you today. And what I want to talk about today are these old double A, they take two double A batteries, these old mini mag flashlights. Now, these flashlights are great, they've been around forever. And I've had several of them over the years. They're just, they're great to have, they're good flashlights. Um, very durable um, they work real good if it's raining outside because they have the little o-ring in them the little gaskets to keep them um, from the water getting inside they're just one of the best flashlights that a guy could ever have and uh, the topic of the video today is to take some of these old incandescent light bulb type flashlights and convert them to the newer style of LED which is what I have right here in this pouch. This is the new mini mag LED version of the flashlight and, and they're they're very bright these new LED ones and so a lot of people might have thought that these old ones were dead or that they you know they had to be retired because they didn't have any kind of life left in them but they really do have plenty of life you know all we have to do is upgrade them so that's the topic of the video today. I'm going to take you through the process of updating one of these uh, flashlights to the new LED. So stay with me. I think you'll enjoy this video. <laughs> okay, first thing I want to say is I'm sorry. I got a little excited and I had already opened this package. As soon as it came in I got all excited but this is the package that we're going to use um, to upgrade our flashlight and it's made by Night Eyes it's a LED upgrade combo 2 fits a double A mini mag mag light 30 lumens um, 25 hours of runtime and it shoots approximately 40 meters distance so you basically you get a switch that replaces the old end cap you get the uh, LED uh, module itself and then you get a new um, reflector shield so this is the night eyes again LED upgrade kit now again I apologize I I got so excited I already opened it but this is the model LUC dash LUC2-07 and uh, it works really good so let me take you through the process and show you what we have to do to convert this flashlight. So first thing is first, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and expose the items. So there's the module itself right there. That's what the little LED module looks like. It's a very well made little module. You get a new reflector. And last but not least, it comes with a new switch. that replaces the old one, the old end cap. So those are the parts that come in this kit. Okay so now the first thing I want to do is I want to take the old cap off of the flashlight and just temporarily real quick I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to remove the batteries. Take the batteries out and up here I'm going to unscrew the top portion of the flashlight all the way off. Now it exposes the old light bulb. I'm going to pull that light bulb straight upward out of the flashlight. Now you, you can see that this plastic piece says do not remove. I don't know if you can read that or not. But that plastic piece says do not remove. So we're not going to mess with that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this stuff down. And I'm going to take this old light bulb and inside this end cap, if I pull this little spring off, I've got to be careful that they don't 
bounce and fly but if I take this little spring off inside here I have a little hidey place where I can put that that old flashlight bulb right inside there and I'll put the old spring back on okay set that aside now let's go to the second step that's taking this head part apart I'm going to unscrew this top portion and separate the two pieces from each other. You'll have a clear lens. Set that aside. Set that piece aside. Now you want to take this reflector out and replace it with the new reflector. Okay, so the new reflector goes in. Clean the lens real quick. Put the lens on top of the reflector. And now we're going to put this end cap back on and tighten it back down. And you want to make sure that the O-ring on here is good before you put this all together. But most of the times I've never seen one of these O-rings go bad. And that's just uh, to make sure that you maintain your water tightness of the flashlight. So now from here we have the head assembly ready. We're going to take the actual flashlight itself and we're going to plug in this little LED module into the two ports and we're just going to kind of push it down until it clicks. From here we're going to put the head assembly back on. We're going to thread it down till it closes, till it stops. Then we're going to insert our batteries <coughs> and from here this is where it gets mildly tricky. When we put this this thing together and we tighten this down, we turn the switch on, you notice nothing happened. If you have that happen, just open the light, the flashlight up. Open this up just like you normally would. Now, if you open this open and it still doesn't do anything and you put the switch on, then what you'll have to do is you'll have to pull the LED assembly out and reverse the polarity and put it back in and what I mean by that is let me turn this off suppose you didn't get any light you would take this module off turn this 180 degrees and put it back down but in our case we got it the first time around we got lucky so I'm going to put the end cap back on and we've now converted our flashlight to LED and if you compare that to the new LEDs you know this is the double A mini mag LED version and this is the old mini mag that we've converted they're pretty much the same now they're very bright they work real good and both of these are considerably brighter than the old incandescent bulb see that the one in the middle is the the new LED. So I'm going to kill these lights. I'm going to show the difference in all three of these lights. Okay, the first one we're going to look at is the old incandescent mini mag light. You can see that we have a little bit of focus. It's not real bright or anything, but it does work. Pretty good little flashlight nothing too crazy and the next one is the the one that we just converted using the night eyes kit turn my switch on open it up and there we go now if you compare this to the old light you see the old light and the new light it's night and day difference between the two the new night eyes you know it sure shines a lot of light it just drowns out the old light tremendously now, if you open the actual LED version that you would buy, this thing is very, almost the same as the night eyes. They're almost the same as far as the light output that they do. So anyway, I want to say thank you guys for watching my video. Thank you for taking the time to check out my channel and thank you for the support all the kind words look at that that thing's bright huh shining in my face it's bright woo 
<laughs> but as always I want to say thanks feel free to comment feel free to subscribe like share thumbs up and as always have a beautiful day everybody we'll see you next time go enjoy your flashlights later <laughs> check that out the thing's crazy pretty bright you know like I said considering what the old flashlights did it's night and day have a good one everybody bye bye